Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. Today we have a different type of video for you. We will be looking at two dog breeds and comparing their personality, size, training, and general care to keep them happy. Let's start with the size and overall look of these dogs. Easily recognizable, Bulldogs have a medium-sized body that's low slung. They have broad chest and shoulders along with sturdy, thick limbs. Although low to the ground, they're wide and muscular. Bulldogs have a droopy upper lip and their lower jaw is undershot, meaning that their lower teeth stick out a bit farther than their top teeth. The legs of the bulldog give it a distinctive gait that is more like a waddling than walking. Another quite recognizable dog is the pug. Pugs are square and thick-set. Their heads are large and round with large round eyes. They have deep and distinct wrinkles on their faces. Their ears are smooth, black, and velvety. They also have a characteristic undershot jaw, like the bulldog, and a tightly curled tail. Now let's talk about the behavior and common personality of these dogs. They're similar in their mannerisms, but have a few differences. Bulldogs are courageous, but also very sweet, sociable, and are very loving to their family. Bulldogs are very stubborn by nature, and selective deafness is a prominent trait. They need to know there's something in it for them if you want them to do something. The bulldog is not an active pet. It tends to take things easy and is a friendly animal to familiar people. Another thing that makes this dog breed an ideal pet is its non-barking nature. On the other hand, don't expect a pug to hunt, guard, or retrieve. Pugs were bred to be companions. They tend to be a sedentary dog, content to just sit in your lap. Although these dogs crave affection, they can also be pretty stubborn and can become unhappy if not given enough attention. Pugs enjoy lounging around and can be relatively quiet compared to a lot of breeds of similar size. Both breeds are actually pretty similar to train. Both can be stubborn but love companionship and are willing to make their humans happy. When training your bulldog, it's important to let them know you're the boss. Bulldogs are smart and again, stubborn. It's ideal to keep training sessions short, about five to 10 minutes daily to keep your dog's attention. Bulldogs are curious creatures and they like to explore the world with their mouth. This means that your puppy may want to bite your hands, shoes, pants, couch, table legs, and even walls. There are two important things to teach your bulldog about mouthing. To bite gently without hurting you, and to chew only his own toys. The bulldog is a brachycephalic breed, meaning that they're subject to breathing and overheating problems, and they should not be trained in hot, humid weather. Bulldogs are food motivated and they respond well to positive training methods. So make sure you treat your dog immediately after, as with most dogs. Pugs have a reputation for being harder to train than other breeds, but this may be because they're often easily distracted. Pugs older than six months may take longer to train, especially potty train. Luckily, there are ways to train them to concentrate. Touch your pug's nose with the tip of your index finger and say a key word such as focus or watch and bring the finger up to your own nose. When your dog looks up at you, give an immediate treat and praise. Repetition is key. Eventually your pug will focus when you call. You'll be able to use this trick whenever your dog's attention wanders. As with the bulldog, the pug is also brachycephalic and are also subject to breathing and overheating problems and they should also not be trained in hot, humid weather. When teaching your pug tricks and commands, feed treats only for training purposes and avoid them at other times. Pugs are a low activity breed and may become obese with excessive treats, which can worsen breathing problems. Being so similar in size and personality, general care for both breeds is similar as well. Both are house dogs that are comfortable being indoors. It's important they constantly have fresh water on hot days. You should also keep the treats to a minimum as both breeds are prone to getting overweight. To help avoid obesity, you should walk your dog about 10 to 15 minutes each day. 
taking them on short walks and building up their stamina and distance traveled. Both don't need very special care of their coat except for weekly brushing because they do tend to shed and bathing can be kept to a minimum, washing only when needed. You should also regularly check the wrinkles on their faces to make sure the skin is clean and dry, as food or moisture can get trapped and cause irritation or infection. Both breeds are very loving, easygoing, and can be great companions for children. If you are thinking of getting one of these two breeds, know that you are in good hands picking either one. What? Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this new format in the comments below and what dog you would choose.